to the northern reaches of Canada. And it's the challenge of mountain climbing that brings these men to the utmost reaches of Mount Everest. Now, from CNN International, Asian Edition, a daily roundup of the latest news, business, and weather forecasts reported live from Hong Kong. For a look at what's happening in Asia and the KLCC Twin Towers, ready to visit Nunavut. I'm interested in your history and your culture, says Chirac. Specifically, he's interested in Inuit art. Chirac says he discovered and fell in love with it 30 years ago. Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin says a much-discussed union between Russia and Belarus might take place before next summer. On Wednesday, Mr. Putin visited the Belarusian capital, Minsk, said he hoped a treaty establishing the new union state could be signed before Russia's presidential elections next June. A top official for the Pan American Games says there was no plot against Cuban athletes at the Winnipeg competition. Cuban President Fidel Castro had claimed there was a drug testing plot against his athletes at the Games last month. Cuban high, high jumper and... Reaching the summit of Mount Everest, the world's highest peak, is a grueling process, and only about 400 people have ever made it to the top. Well, this spring, the first Georgians added their names to the list of Everest conquerors, as we hear from Mir TV of Georgia. For the first time in the history of Georgian mountaineering, the Georgian expedition reached the highest top of the world, Everest. Now, in our reporting, you'll see unique frames taken by mountain climbers during the ascent. It's difficult to take picture when you are in a hard position, hanging or standing on the edge of the rock. It's very hard. This is, this is the beginning of ascent. Up to 8 thousand meter sportsmen climb without oxygen. To reach Everest is a dream of every mountain climber. But Everest allows for approach few. Guys say that during the ascent they were finding the bodies of, lo of lost climbers. And this Japanese sportsman was successfully rescued by Georgian climbers. We they tell they took a risk of their life. The Japanese was found on the 6,400 meters height and took down to camp on the 5,200. Oh. It's said that the most compound relief is near the summit. Finally, here's the top, Everest, oh. long live Georgia. By the way, by a happy conjunction of circumstances, Everest was subjugated by Georgians in the day of national independence. The interesting thing was terrible. In Georgia, all are proud of this ascent. In spite of a difficult economic situation in the country, the official policy rendered proud of this ascent mission, fairly considering that it's necessary for people from time to time to feel sense of national life. This photo was taken on the top of Everest. Guys look happy, and on them opinion, better than mountains can be just mountains. Makarida Blishwili, Malhaz Aslamazishwili, especially for CNN World Report.